What's up guys this is Ardik here and today I'll be showing you my top 5 exposure modules for 2016. So if I jump on to my uh, exposed real quick and if I just then go into my modules as you can see I have only 4 and I was talking about 5 so basically uh, there are 4 modules that I am talking about and there is one app which also requires root and I will be talking about that so this total bec uh, becomes 5 so basically uh, the first on the list here as you can see is gravity box for marshmallow so you may notice that uh, my status bar and my nav bar colors are different so how did I do that? So basically I jump on to the status bar tweaks, I go on to status bar color and then I just enable this over here and then I change my status bar icon color to anything that I want. So uh, you can select it orange, you can select it as green, pink if you want, so you can do that. Then going back here, uh, I go into my nav bar tweaks. I just scroll down here and then you can see there here is an option to change the nav navigation key color so basically you can also change the nav bar colors of your choice so that's what I did to basically change my uh, nav bar and my status bar color but it's not only this you can even tweak your lock screen so you can select the wallpaper style that you want on your lock screen you can select the opacity you can change the shortcuts that you get on the lock screen uh, then there are tons of features here uh, basically scrolling down you can basically uh, edit anything you want to so double tap to sleep so if I just turn off my device and if I am on lock screen let's say I can just double tap on the lock screen and then my device goes to sleep so that's <laughs> that many customization you get on uh, the gravity box so you can even change the custom uh, career label of your choice then going back you can even customize the status bar as per your wish so you can choose the status bar cluster settings quick setting management so here I have four uh, as you can see four quick toggles uh, in one row so you can do that with the uh, gravity box so basically that's there then you can change the clock settings so if you want uh, uh, another clock you can do that as well the data traffic mo uh, manager you can add you can even add the uh, heads up notification on your device and basically there are tons of features here as you can see the nav bar, pie controls, power tweaks I did add a screenshot option over here the, as you can see so it enables us to do that as well but you can add as many as possible so going down to phone tweaks, media tweaks, launcher tweaks there are tons of tweaks as you can see over here so that's a neat feature here as you can see so the next mod I'll be showing you is called the lock screen mod so if I just jump on to here uh, if you did notice my lock screen here uh, as you can see I have these uh, six apps over here so if I just let's say tap on YouTube and if I just unlock my device using fingerprint my device just jumps on to the YouTube app quickly so that is done uh, with the lock screen mods so basically uh, yeah as you can see I have the share tab over here uh, so yeah if you want that I'll be leaving a link in the description below so just click on that and you'll have the share tab but that's not the point uh, the point is uh, you can add as many apps I mean only six apps on your lock screen you can even select the icon size that you want on your lock screen uh, I did keep it on 150 which is the maximum but you can reduce it uh, if your device uh, allows you to reduce then I suggest uh, checking the enable long click so basically what it does is unless you don't uh, long click the app the app won't open so you can't by mistakely uh, like if you if you by mistake touch that app on the lock screen it will be open uh, real quick so this option just uh, lets you long press on the app and only then open the app so you can even hide the icons from the launcher here as you can see so uh, let's say if you don't want these icons that you have on the lock screen to appear on the launcher as well you can disable that uh, as well from over here jumping on to my third mod over here it's called the root clock so basically I'll give an example like some app doesn't allow you to run uh, on your phone if your phone is rooted so what this will do is it will basically tell the app or it will deny the root permission to your app and it will uh, run that app on your device as well so people try it with snapchat 
but Slapchat requires another method uh, to be run on your device if you're rooted. So if you want to know that method, just let me know in the comment section below. I'll make another video for that. So basically, you get the point, right? Uh, you can like tell the app that your device is not rooted, and that app will run on your device as well. So you can just add or remove apps from over here, and basically, you just hit on the plus icon and add the app that you want on your device so so yeah if i just hit on the plus you get all the apps that you have on your device and you can just add some app of your choice and it will tell that app that you're not rooted and then it will run on your device as well so the next app here on my list is extana so basically if you see my nav bar down below it's the htc sense type nav bar right so i did change it from this app so basically what this app does is offers you tons of uh, nav bar as well as status bar options for the for your device so if you want the a uh, aosp l preview you can get that if you want the a aosp uh, cake that is kit care you can get that as well and there are basically tons and tons of um a nav bar as well as status bar options so if you want i style that is the iphone style you can get that here as well uh, and as you can see mi6 few here uh, requires you have to purchase the app that's the prime basically other options work as fine so you just have to hit apply here reboot your device and you're good to go so the next app here i was talking about is called the emoji switcher so basically it requires root as i said uh, and what it'll do is it will uh, detect the current emojis that you have on your device so it uh, yeah, detects that i have the android and preview emojis so what you have to do uh, is just have to hit the down arrow over here select the ios or lg or samsung or even twitter emojis if you want uh if you just select ios just hit on set then it will do is it will back up your previous emojis then and it will set your the latest emojis on your device so if uh, i did change it to ios style so if i just go into the play store real quick if i just uh go into my emojis then you can see i have the ios emojis right over here so yeah, I actually it actually helps us on Twitter. Basically, most of the YouTubers uh, send their emojis from iOS devices. So yeah, that's there. Uh, so yeah, these were the exposed apps or exposed mods, and even the app that I was talking about on my device. So yeah, that's about it, guys. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, and if you found this helpful, just share this video with your friends and do subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And I'll catch you guys in my next one.